So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Jones is two years his senior. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look-see do fighter, only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel the last. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Yeah. 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 You ready? You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He him. has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. 
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh. Nice straight punch. Big leg kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh! Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Jones gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his waist. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And that one was heavy. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish the Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Oh, straight right. Looked like it did stop. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the feet. Under two minutes now to go. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Going for the arm here. Oh, wow, oh! Lock him up, lock him up! He might get a finish here! I need elbows, I need elbows. One minute. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, look. Oh! News hook. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Jones's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Try to establish that jab. Jones gets the takedown. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. Throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Big call for first land. Now we get back to range.
splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautiful kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, effective strike there by Jones. So we call on the fight stats here, DC. 62 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And in terms of the accuracy, landing at a 50% clip tonight against John Jones. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Just over three minutes to go. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. And now he's got the tie clutch. Adesanya gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Now connects with a right. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Real quick leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, good takedown. Jones's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the clinch in DC. This has certainly been a big trademark of your success, just finding a home for those punches in these clinch situations. This is where I live. I love fighting in the clinch and landing those strikes. There are so many small spaces where you can land really, really good punches. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. Hey, it's the safest position, especially for a wrestler.
All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, that kick is good by Adesanya. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big head kick lands. Just out of range with that strike. Jones gets hit by that leg kick. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, so the unofficial numbers thus far, 114 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And unofficially, landing with 51% accuracy against John Jones. Jones. Wow! Oh, holy smokes! He put him to sleep. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! That's it. He got him. What a fight! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So, if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So the celebration is on for the UFC middleweight champion of the world, and he gets it done by stoppage here tonight. That flurry of strikes leading to the TKO.